Some of the things about bus life are no different than house life. Like we still cook and eat the same meals we used to cook. We still sit on the couch and watch TV. Our house gets super messy. <laughs> right? But then there are some obvious differences to bus life too. Like all the little things we have to do every time we move our house. So like Mike said, the house gets pretty messy, especially after we've been parked in one place for 14 days, because, you know, we just get a little, bit, a little bit lazy or we're busy enjoying ourselves or whatever the case may be. So the first thing on the agenda is always just to totally clean everything up before anything else. As the uh, sole driver of the bus currently, uh, there is nothing more stressful than driving down the road and hearing things banging behind you. Crashing. Crashing. Falling. You just, I mean, it literally, it feels like it's taking years off my life. So we actually put together a list. And this is how we manage getting the bus ready for movement as we go down this list one by one and make sure every single one of these things is checked off. And it took a little time to create this list, but it's pretty verbose now. And it does, uh, it does get us from point A to point B without too much tragedy. First on the list is tires. Just wanna make sure we're right around 105-ish. Good. Good. I need right, air in that one. Okay, so tires, check. All right, tail light and turn signals. Check, check. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Hey, brake lights. I'm not seeing brake lights, babe. It could be because it's not running. Okay, let's try driving lights here real quick. I can see those good. All right, cool. We'll test the brakes when we start the engine. Check. All right, all compartments locked. What are you doing? Dirt yoga time? Sure it is. All right. Another check. Extension cords and hoses are checked. And we just checked the water fill hatch. Electrical hatch, just check. Check furniture. Uh-oh. It's right here. All right, how do you want to do this? I'll hand it up to you. Okay. We're up here. Next on the list anyway, huh? Yep. <laughs> that thing is so giant, I can't get over it. Deck furniture stored and weather station stowed. Magnetic motion lights. These things have proven to be amazing additions to the bus. Putting the magnets on the back, pure genius. But I think our magnets are actually stronger. This works really good to put them right here during the day, but not 
if you're gonna be driving at night. <laughs> right. They'll come on and come on and come on. Okay, we don't have any chocks today because we have a hole up front so we can say we've unchocked the wheels. Campfire grill did not come out. Chairs are all stowed. All right. So. Not towing, so. Not towing, so we can check these off today. Okay. And this we're on to my part of the list. Move on the inside. And I know the very first thing on the list is cat inside, and she's not inside yet. So I'm going to skip that and give her a few more minutes of outside playtime and do the rest of the list first. Right. We didn't hang out the bells this time. All I have is the doorbell in my bells and doorbells part of the list. Bells and doorbells. And bungees on bookshelves. Boom. We're gonna skip skylight until right before we move. So we're gonna come up here to this top of the list, clear off everything from the countertops. Remotes, computer is off. Is the pirate door latched? Yep. You just did it? Go check. The pirate door is latched open. Toilet exhaust hose disconnected. We disconnect this hose from our airhead because there's an overpressure under the bus where our vent is and it blows air back through the toilet here and it can make the inside of the bus smell kind of funky so we just disconnect it and that makes that go away. But we also have this little guy here that we put on the hose to make sure that uh, any funky smells under the bus don't come in with it. Niche item stowed is basically just the spray bottle of vinegar water down on the floor so it doesn't fall. Okay, toilet exhaust hose disconnected, niche item stowed. Oh, this marker is driving me crazy. Max fan closed, wood stove fan down. Max fan closed, and wood stove fan down. Check, check. Breaker box closed and locked. Closed. We don't stow the fire tools anymore because we hang them now and they stay in place. Lock refrigerator and freezer. Check. Empty silverware pack. That's a big one. If you hit a big bump, man, that stuff comes crashing down. Three years of your life, gone. <laughs> Heart attack in the making. Yep. Oops, this goes back here. This goes over here. Beautiful. All right, check, check. Somebody send us a new dry erase marker. Secure TV, stove room, plants on front dash. Room is already stowed. Sweet. You get the TV? Let's oh, do it. I'll get the plant. All right, we stow the TV just because it'll spank me in the head <laughs> while I'm driving. You get knocked out. Another three years off my life. Or that or you're unconscious going down the road in a bus. Yeah, very realistic. Just a little bungee action, pretty simple. Yeah, it just keeps it right here. That way it doesn't swing out. Yeah, All perfect. Right. The plants just have to be moved off of this end table up to the dash so that if we hit the brakes, they don't go flying forward into the stairwell. As we already learned the hard way is what happens. Okay, that was TV. TV and plants. All we need to do is cat inside, cat door, and skylight. Okay. Good Somebody's been out here doing dirt yoga. That's right. Guess what? We're going to another one of your favorite spots. And lock cat door. Lock tight. Oh, Kitty just went on the couch by herself. I think she knows what's coming next. See, even though we haven't turned on the key yet, uh -huh. she already knew. Yep. Oh man, she's got us figured out. 
All right, the next thing I do is got to pull all this stuff out of the windows. Oh yeah, you don't like to drive with the reflectics in. I can't in. see to turn when I pull up to an intersection or something. And skylight. Sky oh, you got it with the things? Yeah. I usually have to stand on the couch to reach all the way up to the handle. It opens These so high now. These struts are awesome, but they also make it a little more difficult. To yeah, play. we didn't think of that at the time we ordered them. Okay, so now this is when we start our engine. So one of the things about our engine is, and we haven't figured it out yet, and I've got a, a replacement part that I'm going to probably install in a week or so, but it takes a really long time for our uh, air pressure to build up. and. It's, it, it seems like it's by design. It comes up to 25 and stops, and then stays there for a long time, probably 15 minutes until the bus is clearly warmed up. And then you can just see it, it goes, okay, and goes up to pressure. It might be by design. If one of you guys up there are experts and know the answer to this, let me know. The dreaded buzzer. Although Mama Kitty is already hiding. Start right up. Now we just have to wait for the air pressure to build up before the buzzer goes off. That's right, which is going to take 15 minutes of hell listening to that buzzer. And what was that? You said you heard um, what, that part, that something governor? We've got a D2 governor. D2 governor? That uh, should, might fix it, but I don't know. I'm not sure exactly where the fault lies in this. It also might be temperature dependent. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes. It's been warmer lately. It might just take only a few minutes. Start so, no. working better. Yeah. We'll Overnight was probably like 50 or 60. Could warm up very quickly. Okay, we gotta go do the brake check. Now that the engine is on. Are you doing anything? Oh, there they are. Yeah, totally on and working. All four of them came on? Oh yeah. Okay, good. I guess it makes sense that the brake lights wouldn't come on if there's no Airplane. pressure in the brake system, the brake, the lights wouldn't come on. It would be ten, depending off the switch was here or if the switch was in somewhere in the brake, showing the brake actually throwing, physically moving. So if the brake switch, like in a car, is right at the pedal, as soon as you touch this, it activates your brake lights. In this case, when we push this, the air pressure activates a switch someplace else. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got cat inside, cat door locked, and skylight closed and locked. So we've completed our list, and we get an A+. The part you can't actually see on camera is how long this actually takes, and how impatient Mike gets. But yay! We're good now! The buzzer's <laughs> off! We can go! We're free! Weirdly, you know what's not on our list? getting the little Lego bricks out from under our tires when we move. to every time we dump and fill with water. I just need to pay for an RV dump. Okay, ten dollars. Did you need water as well? Yes. Or just, yeah. Okay. All right, and there's that. Okay. I'm just gonna leave the water tank, you guys. Okay, we'll bring it all back like we usually. Yeah, that's fine. All right, here's the routine. We just say after I put the WT40 on there. That is quite a bit Those easier. Those latches are working <laughs> phenomenally smooth. So much better now. <laughs> okay, so we got the water hose. We start with the water first. Because it takes a long time. Yeah, we got a hundred gallon tank for crying out loud. That's right. <laughs> All right, that begins. Now the gross part. I like how you color coordinated with the bus today for this filming though. Did you? It looks great. I was totally thinking with that when I got dressed. I could tell. 
This is the icky part of my job. Right. I wish I'd got the one that had the clear right here. So you could see what was going on in yeah. there? Yeah. It just seems like knowing that is um, better. See right there, I already got spooge on me from that. Gross. Doesn't take long. Doesn't. Hi. How are you doing? Good. All right, here we go. Got it. Gross. I know, it smells so bad. Well, that's the dirty job. One of them. <laughs> the dirtiest. It is kind of gross, but it's not that bad. This is our sea level two tank monitoring system, and it shows how much we have in our black tank, which is zero now because we just dumped it, and how much we have in our fresh tank, which is 67 so far while we're filling it. We gotta get all the way to 100, you guys. It's gonna be a few more minutes. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, and then I guess this just comes off and we have to take Good it on. back inside. Thank you. You're welcome. Very important. <laughs> and hose. All stowed away. There we go. Nice work. Next up, gross job number two. That's right. And I do mean number two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we need a trash bag. We sure do. So what do you do first? Do you unlatch it from the floor first? Uh, no, I take the top off first. So, I just do this and part. And you unlatch all those little wing nuts all the way around? Yeah, and then I put this over here gently so it doesn't dislodge anything. Right. And then, this one smells a little ripe today. But then I just put this on it and uh, so I don't have to look or smell any of that. Right. Here, get this out of the way. Yeah. And then we take this part outside. Ah. And then I just do this. Like that. I mean, it's not bad. Twice a month. That's it. Twice a month. So, that's only what 26 times a year yeah like and that's it i mean it's totally not a big deal yeah it's not that big of a chore ta-ta compostable material out of use i think we're like due to get some more uh beet moss i think this is it right here oh, that's really? lasted us six months that's true so oh here and they have half size, we have the full one. It just looks just like potting soil, you guys. It is like seriously no big deal. Yeah. That, that's about right right there, I think. Yeah. Is that high enough? Mm -hmm. That's what's supposed to happen. clips and tighten them down. It has two little wing nuts that tighten it down to the floor and then four wing nuts that tighten the top section down to the bottom section. We just make sure that this is lined up with this right here. See these little things? And what did you have to get lined up? I just make sure that this is 
in oh, on, on all our lined downspout up correctly. There. I see what you mean. Yeah. And then we tighten our little nuts here. Normally, we would hook this back up, but we're still going to move. Yeah, so. we're still driving, so we leave the hose yeah. on. And then the last thing, the last little thing, this is like an enzyme. And this just kind of helps the composting. Yeah, it kind of primes your compost to, to get those enzymes in there to start breaking down so, the materials. I can usually give like six or seven sprays of that and then just give a little like that. Ta-da, all finished. And all right. the composting is done. Now we take the trash out, plus yep. a couple other little things. So there's three things I take out with the trash. The kitty litter, the bathroom trash, and the kitchen trash. Gross, is that composted though? <laughs> you know, the whole time that we've had this litter box in here, we're so proud of Mommy Kitty to use it. Now she just doesn't go outside to go to the bathroom, even though she's outside all yeah. the time. Yeah, and then that just goes right back in. Next, take the trash bag out. And then I add the bathroom trash to the kitchen kitty litter trash. And that way I'm only using one bag to take out all three of that trash. Right. And then, since our sink is full of all of our countertop stuff, we go use the shower to wash our hands. Next job. <laughs> so that's everything we would normally do at the truck stop. We're just gonna do one extra thing today, which is filling up that low tire. accomplished. Next on the agenda is grocery shopping and sometimes we need to do like a major grocery shopping trip on moving day but today I think we just need a few supplemental items. Just a couple little things. Yeah. This is Carrie's job. She won't let me put things on there. He doesn't do it right. So I guess we basically came in here for produce and Easter eggs. Yeah, potato chips. And, and then dip, you got junk food. This Absolutely. is the junk food Mike put in the basket. <laughs> Delicious. We have to park in the outback parking 10 miles away from the grocery store with our big old bus. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's it. That's all we have to do. Now I just got to go to our new spot. Yeah. And set up. Which is kind of hilarious because in the beginning when we first moved into this bus, moving day was this huge, like ridiculously stressful event. Like it was, Mike would be so grumpy and stressed out on <laughs> moving true. day. It's not even funny. Totally true. And now it's like nothing. Like we just do it like it's no big deal, like we're just running a couple of errands. We it's used no to do this and we'd get in like to our spot by like nightfall. Dark. Yeah, <laughs> like it would take us all day long to do the moving day thing. And now we just have it down to like this yeah. real tink tink tink. The list really helped. Yeah. All the things I don't even did. know how it took us so long before. It's kind of ridiculous. It didn't make sense, but it did. It always took us till nighttime. Yeah, so. yeah. Anyway, it's a lot easier these days. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to our new spot. Gotta open up the door because this looks who's here. Mama Kitty, were you anxious to come outside? My goodness, you came running out. You burst out of the door. She needed some yo dirt yoga immediately. Oh, she really did. Oh, Mama. Oh, she just missed this place so much. She's rubbing herself in it. <laughs> it's weird. Like some places we go, 
like she doesn't want to go out but some places like when we right when we get there she'll come out from under the couch and want to go outside she smells it she knows where she wants to be okay. Is. Now I turn this thing towards the tower over there. Right there. Oh, I didn't bring my phone to check it, but that should be 100%. All right, we'll give it a shot. Did you want to open your package? Oh, heck, so. We got. We got mail. It's mail time. It's Chef Santa from Chef Santa's Culinary Travels. And he travels around the bus, the Manja bus. So it's really cool that he sent us something. And he sent us something because he's been watching our videos. And it makes sense. Ah! <laughs> Look, and this is what he sent us. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's part of what he sent us, which is really cool. I, it's a new sport. That's the paddle. Mm. <laughs> so... He sent us a fancy new pizza stone. And we do actually eat a lot of pizza that we make here. Chef Santa, thank you. To for the rescue. This. <laughs> this is awesome. And right? super bonus because now we have the The now, pizza paddle. Pizza paddle, that's right. A bamboo pizza paddle. So this is a cool gift. Thank you. This is something that we are actually gonna use pretty darn often. Cause uh this is great. I just thank you so much, Chef. You're awesome. Mangiare. That's right. <laughs> Manja. <laughs> well, you guys, I think that's just about it for moving day. I mean, I already took everything out of the sink when we got here. I didn't think you really needed to see that. It's self-explanatory. And we happened to be parking at a spot that was level, so we didn't have to do any leveling with the bricks or anything like that. Right, right. So... Is there anything else, like, different or unusual? No. You know, as, the, as we've been doing this more and more, it's become uh, easier and easier for us to do it. The list that you saw us going down, that's an every time thing. Like we don't, we didn't make that up. That's just like every single time we go down that list. Generally though, we will like try to do everything and then go back and look and see what we missed. Right, it's like, a, it's like a game. Yeah. It's like kinda, this challenge to yeah. see how many things you can get without looking at the list and then you check yourself in the end. Right. So. <laughs> Generally it takes us between like half an hour to 45 minutes to get out of, get out of a spot. Once we get into the spot, though, the bus is already clean because we, we clean it. And then, you know, and then we put everything away. So we just take the stuff out of the sink and we're there. It's yeah. very, and put the antenna up on the roof. Yeah. We're, it's very quick. That's all it takes to set up camp. Yeah. So we got here, we did those things, and, and we're here. It's simple. So it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. That part of it is great. The, the anxiety of driving the bus, if you are new to this, goes away as you start getting familiar with the bus and the sounds it makes and and how the engine runs and stuff like that the anxiety goes away and uh now you know packing up and leaving is not this all day stressful thing yeah, anymore it's no big deal yeah we love that you guys watch us if you have anything to say about our today if we forgot some or something we should add to our list put it in the comments because we read all the comments obviously and uh uh make sure you subscribe right over here just a button if you haven't subscribed yet, I mean... <laughs> what are you waiting what? for? What? <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so, like, subscribe, hit that little bell if you want to know uh, when we're putting a video out. Generally, it's every Thursday. And uh, we love having you guys along with us. And don't forget, we have our new Bus Face stickers available on Etsy. That's right. And that'll be linked right down here also. And... And we'll see you next time. That's right. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Love you guys. Mwah.